We've had a fair bit of rain recently, hence the really murky water. That should uh, fire up the carp. That's our target species today. We're down here at the River Torrens, just in the metropolitan area, literally five minutes out of the city. And we found this little hole. I've caught fish here in the past. Uh, you may have seen some of my videos with my Sony action camera. I got a double hookup in this exact pool. So we've only got about an hour and a half to spare this afternoon. Fingers crossed. We find a carp or two. Something's playing with my bait on the unweighted rod. Could be a catfish. Just picking it up and dropping it. Oh, just missed it. Took the bait too. Free bait. Small bit of white bread. Clump it on the hook. Making sure the uh, hook's exposed. Oh, bloody hay fever around here. Surrounded by bushes. I'm gonna chuck some burly and that's what I did before I started fishing which is why I got the take straight in front got him into a nice frenzy there water's crazy murky but there's definitely fish down there <laughs> so let that bait sit on the bottom straight back in the rod holder it goes oh don't tell me I'm getting takes already I reckon one picked it up on the drop all right I'm getting a take right now I've just hooked up. <laughs> Feels like a good carp. Oh gosh. That does have a fair bit of weight. I've only got four pound line as well. Crap. This fish has some go. Oh my goodness. few good boils there. I reckon he's trying to find a snag to bust me off on. I'm gonna get this line in. Oh, yep. He's found some structure. Oh, don't you just hate that sound? Yes, got him off. Oh no. He's back on that structure. Those are some big boils, but I haven't seen him yet. It's got a fair bit of weight. What is down there? Wow. Spewing about that. Oh, he didn't even bust me off. He just spat the hook. Hook's not bent or anything. Unlucky. Get another bait out. Look at that, there's a carp eating the bread off the top. Straight out in front of me. I'm surprised it's eating off the top. Seeing how murky the water is. Wow. All right, I'm getting a take. There's a carp on my bait. Uh, hooked up like, just like that. I'm gonna skull him. Oh, it's a catfish. Good sized catfish. Gotta keep it off the bottom because these guys always try getting you under structure. That's about a 40 centimetre caddy. And catfish are native. Well, I'm not entirely sure if they're native in the torrents, but they're a tenderness catfish, which are native in the Murray River. So I'd still class it as a native and always catch and release these guys. I'll get it out of the water and show you with the good camera how gorgeous these fish look. Now these things are a pain in the ass to grab because they do have some spikes with toxins in them and they hurt just as much as flatties when they spike. So gotta be careful. There we have it. 
a lovely tenderness catfish out of the river Torrens. As you can see, they're just camouflaged with the terrain around them. Gorgeous looking fish, very slimy too. Just got to be really careful about the spines. So the spines are on their dorsal fin and their pectoral fins, but they're full of venom. So just got to be careful about those when handling them. Try not to drop them as well, because they've got a nice layer of slime over the top. But these guys are protected. So I'll get the hooks out and give it a good release. Like a lizard sliding back into its hole. Let's try and get another one, if not a carp. Catfish in the River Torrens. It's an interesting topic. There's been an abundance in the past few years um, and there never used to be from what I've heard from old timers. Apparently there used to be only very few carp and very rarely would they encounter catfish as a bycatch. Whereas in the past couple of years I've fished so many different pools in the River Torrens and have caught catfish from 20 centimetres all the way up to 50 centimetres. Um, I've caught them in the city, I've caught them down near Henley, caught them just in the central parts and even up high. Uh, there's been lots of catfish getting around recently and uh, during summertime you can actually see them nesting. They create these tyre sized holes and actually collect pebbles and place them in a circle and they just scout it. They swim around the perimeter of it guarding their nest and their eggs obviously and I have seen schools of 15 to 20 catfish just bunched up in a ball all around that sort of size so they're obviously juveniles trying to stay safe in a bunch but it's just so interesting that you can catch catfish in the river torrents. I aim to make a video specifically chasing them. I have worked out a few little bits and pieces of course I don't know everything about them like anything else it's just a never-ending learning curve with fishing but I'll show you what I've learnt in the near future and uh, hopefully produce a catfish video fishing the river torrents.